What's up guys? All right, so today we're gonna do a quick little guide on how to play a zombie. We're gonna go through her kit, talk about how to use her gadget in certain ways and what your, your role is as a zombie. I'll also show situations that I would personally use a zombie using her gadgets. So let's get to it, yeah? All right, let's go through her kit. So she has 9x19 VSN, which is the Capkin gun but she only has a 1X. This gun is actually really good. You don't see it used very often because, I mean, it's on Capkin. A lot of times you're not gonna need a Capkin, so it's not that big of a deal. But this gun is decent. I personally enjoy this gun quite a bit. And then you have the S12, which is a slug shotgun. Um, I'm not sure it does only have a 1X scope. If you needed to make like rotates and stuff, you can do it with this, but you have a D-Glus your backup. So I, I really don't think that that's really a good idea. I, this, I'm sure some people can use a shotgun. Personally, I can't. I know a lot of you can't. So uh, <laughs> I think the Capcom shotgun's probably, sorry, Capcom SMG. Yeah, not my 19. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's probably a better go-to. And you have, like we said, the Deagle backup. It's a good, it's a good sidearm. I mean, you're not really going for headshots with this gun. You're just going for any type of piece. And I mean, every time you bring a pistol out, it's usually a hectic fire fight. So, hey, just aim low. It's a 71 damage. And you have the barbed wire and the impact grenades. So many operators have the barbed wire, which fine. I personally would probably run the impact grenades for the anti OSA, as well as probably you're going to be taking an operator that can probably make rotates. So I'd probably bring impacts most of the time just to make sure you can make the rotates. Right. So yeah, you have impacts. You don't have a secondary shotgun to make rotates, but Deagle is very high caliber. You'll be able to make at least lines of sight with the Deagle very easily. And you have plenty of ammo to do so. Like what you guys are seeing here. So there are a lot of uses for a zombies gadget. You can use it as a last second castle barricade on a door frame or an entryway. You can use it to block off drone holes. You can use them to block off staircases. You can use deployable shields. There's so many things you can do. I want to go through a couple of them. So one thing I found that I like about a zombie is I like to make one way. So like, I'm not sure if a lot of you know about like vipers, like poison orb in Valorant. Um, you can put it something above the staircase so you can see their lower body as they approach. Watch this. One of my favorite things to do is a zombie. All right, so that only uses one uh, of our kunais as well. So anyone that's attacking, they are gonna, they're not gonna have any real access unless they're like shooting your feet on the landing, right? And as you come up, the attacker is going to have to crouch down and go up, but you're gonna have a massive advantage because as they come up, you are going to see their lower body before they can even see you. That's what I mean by a one way. It is very hard for them to deal with. And as an added bonus, whatever you want, you can just close it off. Not only is a zombie good at defending staircases, he's also good at defending hallways. So I'm gonna demonstrate. You can throw these kunais high on random objects in the hallway and you'll get a shield like this. This is obviously a little bit too high. I'm not that tall, but you can use it to like really block off their access and you can use the thing, you know, you still peek off of it. What I like to do is you throw them low so you can actually use it like a deployable, like a deployable shield and kind of whack them all out from it. So like so. You have to be careful though, because sometimes you will make that gap and that can get you killed. But it is also a double-edged sword. So let's destroy that really quick. I play this and as they come over, like we said, it's like another one-way situation. I can see their lower body before they even see me. So they're gonna come around this corner like so, and they're gonna peek out and they're gonna start to see part of that, but they're gonna have to peek out all the way to even see me even slightly and they probably have to crouch to see it better. But they're really exposed in the middle of the hallway. And right, I can see them coming out the entire time. The second he gets to that, I can't see nothing. I can see absolutely nothing. Ouch. If I go prone, then I have the same line of sight. 
almost, but no one's gonna realistically be prone here and peek you like that. They're gonna come like this or they're gonna be standing. And it is very easy to win that firefight. <laughs> Let's talk more about our shields. So a lot of times I'll usually have a two or three kunais on me at any given moment and I'll like wanna like, just like change up the side a little bit. And then I have a deployable shield looking at the door. And if I want to move a little forward. Boom. I got some cover for this. And oh, I don't like that window. Boom. Closed. The zombie has a lot of power, especially for the late push. Because 30 second meta is still always a thing. You have a lot of shutdown power. If you play your cards right. Let's say they're going for a plant, because normally this is the site. They go for a plant right here behind the half wall. I have to open up that wall, right? And I'm playing you the bathroom, and that door is open. I throw one there. I throw one there and there, and I swing over and just pre-fire. There's not much they can do to prevent this. All right, let's do the little mock situation. So I reinforce the wall. Ten like they open the wall there. And as they're going to go for a plant behind the half wall, I can't do much from this position. I'm gonna have to get closer. So what I would do, boom. Yeah, they can peek me from there, but that's a very easy firefight to win. And I can just sprint across that and they're probably not gonna be able to land that shot. I'll just do this and then come over and boom, you're in. With an, not much danger. Comparatively to you. Having to do a retake with someone probably holding that door, maybe someone outside the bathroom. It's a little hard because then I'm, I'm gonna get shot from an angle I'm not really paying attention to. It's really hard to engage this. And if I don't wanna use them like that, I on the door, I can just throw it over the top. One, half a second. Boom. And just like that, boom, it's covered. They're gonna start meleeing it, but they're gonna be afraid. And you can see their feet. And you can just swing across, go into sight. Like I said, I think Azami's real power comes from her ability to make a different layout after everything's already droned late into the round. Being able to just swap it up when when they don't have the sight fully droned again because they're, they're gonna they're gonna join out at the start. They're gonna join it as they approach, but then being able to swap up the push completely on site is gonna throw people off guard. And a lot of times when I'm playing a zombie, I'll keep two or three kunai on me up until the last second of the push. I'll close some random doors that I think I might be pressured from. And then I swing in fully confident knowing that I only have to worry about one firefight at a time. All right, guys, let's take you through a round of how I personally play a zombie. So like I said, Make sure your rotates are taken care of if you're the only one that has impact grenades. Boom. Boom. Rotates taken care of. Now, deployable shield. Right. Um, normally you can be able to place a deployable shield like in the middle of the hallway, which is good. But as long as I'm not able to do that, you have to throw it at something. So what I would do, so make sure to throw it fairly low and boom. And you have a deployable shield that you can peek off of. Remember, be careful of your feet. It can't get you killed. If you want to make sure that you're really safe, throw another, boom. You have several, doesn't hurt. Be careful of having up like this though, because they will be able to just kind of walk in if you're not actively watching this. So be careful of this. I suggest probably only having one so you can play off of it very easily from either side of the door frame. Another thing you can do, especially if on coastline, is boom, boom. Now I'd probably do a third one just to be really safe. Like so. It's gonna be a massive eyesore, believe me. But you can walk in pink bar, no problem. They cannot kill you from that window until they destroy this. And yes, it's not that hard for them to destroy it with one frag grenade potentially or four zone, etc. But that is utility that they're having to use to counter 
just a couple of your kunai. You have five. Make sure to use them. And when they're going for an aqua plant, if they don't destroy these, you can just come around and swing. Like I said, Azami's real power is in her ability to retake. But what you could do as they're planting, boom, boom, and then swing in front of the window, knowing that even if someone's on that window, they can't kill you. Let's talk about another instance that you can use the Azami Kunai's for. Clubhouse. So you're defending, defending the Raptors. It's, uh, it's a very strong position if you put all these kunais down. You can walk back and forth, no problem. And even better, you go over the top, you go over the crack, this side, that side, this, that. It makes it very hard for them to clear you from the raptors with just the gun. They're gonna have to clear you with utility. And even if they push it from underneath, they can't get you through the bars. They have to walk up and even better yet, boom. You have a decent little angle prone while you can watch them coming through the door. Yeah, they'll be able to see you as well, but this will catch a co the occasional person fairly off guard. And better yet, when they're coming up the staircase, you can use that as a way for to see them coming up. So, I mean, they'll be able to see you there as well, but not very well because the railing is there and their gun is going to most likely be higher or to the side. You'll be able to see them coming up and I wouldn't even have my my gun on them there. I would just be waiting while I could see them as they walk up and just pre-fire when I see them coming up. All right, those are the main uses that I have personally found as Zombie, she's an architect. You are rebuilding the site as you see fit. So now we're gonna go through some clips of me using a zombie in the ways that I just showed you guys. Go to it. Like I said, Zombie's main power is to be able to just retake with full confidence. I can just walk into this room, close that window, and I'm completely fine knowing I only have to take one active five foot at a time. And as an added bonus, I can hold an aggressive angle that's not normal for the attackers to have to deal with and mop them up. Here we have another instance where I'm holding the staircase with a one way and also using a Azami for a deployable shield. Well, the shield didn't work out too well. I throw another Azami on the staircase as I rotate up to revive. Here we have another instance of me closing out the staircase. Makes it really easy to hold the staircases. Then you're coming up. I used one as a deployable shield for top blue because we didn't have any normal shields. I swing over, take one out. And then shoot it through the prone holes. So here's a little bit more of an interesting usage of the zombies. So I use one for a shield, very forward to hold a pixel angle. Take one out. I'm pushed forward and I want to kunai off the trench so I can rotate through. I do so, I don't even have someone shoot at me. They see the zombie and either A, they can't see me or B, they back up because something's in front of their face. So I push to something that they've already cleared, retaking this area, hoping to catch someone off guard. And I find one, full sprint. And wanted to come back because now they know I'm here with calls probably. So I throw another zombie to get back to site to go to my original post. All right, guys, that's everything we're going to go over today about new operator zombie. Make sure to leave a comment if you guys learned something or if you think I forgot anything. There's a lot of ways to use your gadget on the fly in prep. Honestly, it's going to be hard. There's going to be new uses to use your shields. You can use your shields. I've seen people use their shields to vault up on top of things that hasn't been done before. So, hey, remember, imagination, and every time you do something, have a reason for it. Don't just throw them willy nilly. At least think through it somewhat. All right, guys. Till next time, make sure to subscribe. See you later.